Hey, you're welcome. We uh, continue our our discussions on the doctrines of gratitude, and we're looking in section 59 of the Doctrine and Covenants. This is the seventh verse, Dad, if you could read that. Thou shalt thank the Lord thy God in all things. I just want to say quickly that this is a section, a, a revelation given to Joseph Smith when he reached Zion in Jackson County, Missouri. And this is very much the, the law of Zion. So if we aspire to be a Zion people, we've got to live in obedience to this law. So what are your thoughts? There's a couple of things that really strike me about this. It's a very small verse, but it packs a lot of punch. Mm. It's very doctrinally astute. Thou shalt thank the Lord thy God in all things. So this is a commandment. This is an imperative. Not, It's not optional. Well, I mean, we all have a choice, but uh, if we want to go where God is, we need to be like God. And he's a very thankful person. He's very grateful um, for the least kindness shown to him. So we need to be like that. I'm also struck by the fact that it says in all things, we should thank the Lord in all things. Well, what does that mean? Well, all things means all things. There's no qualifier on that. So it doesn't mean we should thank the Lord for our health, for our ability to see, for our ability to walk, for our relationships, for our finances, for our shelter, for our food, for our clothing, for our faith. Should we thank him for the opportunities we have, the gifts we enjoy, the talents we've been given? Well, the answer is yes. But it also means, well, should we thank him even when life is hard? Yes. Should we thank him when we're facing difficulties? Yes. Should we thank him when we're facing unforeseen circumstances or breached expectations? Yes. And that, of course, is a, a wintry doctrine, as Elder mm -hmm. Maxwell would say. That's more difficult to do. But it is a principle that if we can thank the Lord in all things, especially and including those things which are a challenge for us, which are difficult for us, then we've learned a mighty lesson. And we've become people of great character, great integrity, great righteousness. And as I've watched all the prophets in the scriptures, as I've watched carefully, the prophets have learned to be thankful. They've all faced deep affliction, but they rejoice in God. And there's a pattern there. There's a lesson there that the Savior who has faced the most difficult trials was also the most thankful person. So the doctrine of gratitude, thankfulness is a powerful doctrine that we need, we need to incorporate into our lives. Absolutely. And I, I like to link this with the 21st verse of the same chapter, uh, which says, And in nothing doth man offend God, or against none is his wrath kindled, Save those who confess not his hand in all things and obey not his commandments. It's easy for us when we think of uh, commandments to think of uh, breaking them uh, just as uh, sins of commission. But there are also sins of omission mm -hmm. where, where we fail to do righteousness that we had the opportunity to do. And it strikes me that Failing to thank the Lord thy God in all things is one of those instances mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that uh, we have the opportunity in all things to thank him. Mm -hmm. So if we're not, well, we've we've omitted that, that righteousness and it can't be counted unto us for righteousness. So it's given for our blessing. Yes. Rather than for his. Yeah. Mean, mean God, God is God, whether we praise him or not. Yes. But it's the opportunity for us to praise and acknowledge him and confess his hand in all things. Yes, absolutely.